Okay, today we're going to talk about single cylinder Kohler K series uh, crankshafts, about um, clearance of the counterweights and other things you need to kind of know when you're putting one of them together. This is just one off the shelf. I haven't put a crank gear on yet, so don't don't be alarmed. There's no crankshaft gear on yet. It just hasn't been installed yet. But the crank gear would go right here otherwise. But when you get this in here, like this is a four inch stroke crank, and the reason why I have this cut down here, why some people might not realize, especially on this side here. Uh, the higher lift camshaft, that cam lobe goes right by this crankshaft here. So make sure your cam lobes are far enough apart for don't, you know, you gotta kind of mock a thing together, mock, mock the engine here before you actually build it. Because you gotta make sure everything is gonna be missing like it should be. Uh, the other thing you need to do too, once you get in the motor, you might want to check before you get final balance. When this is in the motor, these kind of weights go on each side here like this. And um, this, this crank here, this lobe here, if you run a high lift cam, as it comes around, the camshaft lobe is going to run right into this counterweight. So what you're going to need to do is clearance it for the counterweight, clearance the counterweight for the camshaft to clear first. And I'm talking like a, a 500 lift cam with like a one inch base circle will just clear, but if you use like a 600 cam, 600 lift cam, it will run into this thing by about 100 thousandths. So you need to take, a, take this down, usually a good rule of thumb, if you have these bolts torqued all the way down, you can just take the counterweight down all the way around it until it just touches the top of the bolt, and that usually gives enough to clearance a 600 lift cam. Um, but it takes counterweight away, but you have to do it from this leading edge to about this bowl here. You know, that's where the that's where that camshaft is going to hit. So you want to make sure you get that clearance so you will not run into misery. Like you get the crankshaft balance, you get it all back, now it won't turn over, now you got clearance and counterweight, now your balance is no good, so you got to re get it rebalanced. Trying to save you a little time ahead of time there. Get it clearance first, then send your crankshaft out to get balanced. And then they, they, we have something to work with. And these bolts here, the other thing too, a lot of questions come up there. It's on, the, it's on your invoice when you get the crank. But these bolts here take a 7 16 12 point socket. And these bolts here are torqued to 45 foot pounds. A little bit different, like you know, the crankshaft on the rod, connecting rod, that, those bolts get torqued to 20 foot pounds on the connecting rod. But these here are torqued to 45 foot pounds. Same with the crankshaft nut. You know, that's a 3 8 fine thread nut. You know, if you go by torque standards, that's got to be about a 280 pound torque on that thing. I just use a half inch impact, tighter down so they don't turn anymore, and that will keep her tight. I always put a little bit of red Loctite on here. That way it keeps the crankshaft from fretting. Fretting is spelled F R E T T I N G, and that is when you get a transfer of metal from the crankshaft, from the flywheel, onto the crankshaft, and that's usually done through harmonics in the engine. Like a single summer has a lot of harmonics in it, and it will actually uh, fret metal onto that taper and when you'll know it when you pull the flywheel off you'll see chunks of metal like welded to the crank that's because you're because your harmonics in your engine and, and maybe the taper might not be a perfect fit put a little Loctite on the thing and you'll put that on there that Loctite will sit up tight it'll, it'll, it'll take all the imperfections out and I kid you not you can run a thing all year pull that flywheel off it's just like the day you put it on because that it, it, Loctite will protect that area and to get off it'll come right off that'll take a little that take a little propane torch just heat up that flywheel around there a little bit, let it soak, soak the heat in for oh, a minute or two, and then you'll pop right off. So usually what I do, I'll put, put the puller on there, put a lot of tension on it, heat that thing up, wait a couple minutes, and all of a sudden it'll pop, it'll, the flywheel will be loose. So, and that taper will be just like the day you put it on, flywheel and the, and the crank. So it saves you a lot of trouble and grief and aggravation down the road. So but that's what you need to know about putting a crankshaft in an engine.